So artificial intelligence systems do take on an increasingly pervasive role in our lives. The one thing we need to hold on to as human beings is the capacity to ask the right questions. And these machines that will be able to know things and learn things and see things that we can't see, if there comes a point at which they ask better questions than we do, we've got problems. And so for me, the core fundamental skill is learning how to ask the right question of the data, the information, the analysis that the artificial intelligence is providing to me so that I can work with them instead of against them. You know, it's an interesting question to what extent will artificial intelligence have an impact on my decision making? Because frankly, it already is. So I can take a simple thing like this phone and be able to think to myself, I've already given that phone my intelligence about reading a map. <clears throat> I used to navigate the city streets of London with a physical map and I would put that map in my head, I'd learn it. I no longer learn those things, I've given it over to them. And the really interesting question is, as we increasingly give our knowledge over to a machine, it's are we aware of that happening, first of all, and are we asking the right questions of the knowledge we still hold and of the knowledge that we've given away? And to do that, we have to not be a machine. And what I mean by that is we have to engage in actions as leaders that get us out of our office, out of our normal environment, into the world, face to face with people, seeing in eyes, empathizing, understanding, grasping things that perhaps it can't grasp as intuitively. And somehow from those interactions with people across all kinds of borders and contexts, be able to see things and formulate questions that a machine can't quite see yet. And then we work together with it. And that's the key to the future. Organizations worldwide, most of them are very effective at shutting down human judgment. And the greatest indicator of that happening is when people stop asking questions that count. And so the future, and the future especially with artificial intelligence, is giving people the opportunity to ask the better question, inviting them to be curious in a way that they ask questions that probe deeply the system, that cause people at any level to be uncomfortable, to be wrong, and to be even quiet about their solution to be able to get a better answer. And so the real, key, the real key to the future and people feeling engaged and empowered is them feeling like they can not only ask a question that might be problematic in the system, but they also have the power to answer the question they care about. One way of deeply engaging people in this process of asking the better question is to literally set aside four minutes, yourself or a team, about a challenge that you're stuck on. This is the moment where we either get engaged or not. We're stuck. And often when we're stuck, we're frustrated and we want to walk away from the situation. Instead of doing that, get some paper, get your iPad, and set a timer for four minutes and ask nothing but questions about the challenge. No answers, no explanations. You, maybe with two other people or a team, generate as many questions as you possibly can. What I've discovered by doing this for 20 years with 10,000 plus people is that 80% of the time, the mere act of just asking questions opens up a reframed way of looking at the problem and potential opportunities and solutions they otherwise wouldn't see. And so to me, with artificial intelligence coming in, people getting empowered to use that and take it forward in unique ways going forward is me, others, as individual human beings being, being able to ask the better question. And that will make all the difference.